Oh my lord. This is something that I imagine most people don't do on their schoolies by themselves. And I figured this would be such a great skill to learn. And since I have the guy to teach me here, we're gonna do it today. We're changing our own bus tire here, right next to the bus. We're not gonna pay some tire shop to do it. We're gonna learn how to do it. I know, I promised you this wasn't gonna turn into a mechanicing channel, but he's at it again. <laughs> Yeah, they all have a big L on them. Yep. Left hand thread? Uh-huh. I have never heard of that such a thing. That way when the tire's rolling like this, you know, rolling this way, then yeah. the, the lug nut will try and tighten up instead of loosen. Wow, for the safety of the children. <laughs> like everything about building a tiny home in a school bus just turns out to be smart. This part, straight up, is gonna suck. Because there's eight, nine, ten of these gigantic one and a half inch uh, bolts. They're not gnarly monsters, but aren't then, they? After that, we're not done. Because after that, we have to take them off again. Because they're not held on. They're held on separately. Essentially, you have the nuts holding this tire on and then if you look at each one of these lugs here you look at each one of these, there's a square right here this square is the lug nut for the inside tire so we got to take wow. off basically we have to unscrew 20 of these wow yeah it's a huge process jesus i feel like i'm bending it Right now. I'm seriously expecting it to go pop and be done. And I'm putting like a million pounds of force on it. Yeah, except that they were put on with a freaking impact driver. An enormous impact driver. All right. I guess you just kind of go for it, huh? <gasps> there it is. Scared me. I think I actually jumped I because did. I thought something <laughs> broke. I'm not gonna lie to you, I, I peed in my pants a little bit right there. <laughs> I just really didn't know what to expect. It was exactly what you said though. You expected it to go dink, and it yeah. did. That one didn't. Oh, huh. <clears throat> Ooh, this one's tough. Yeah, it is. Got it. Reminds me of like if you're doing some kind of wrestling move when you do that. <laughs> Kind of is. I'm wrestling with these bolts. <laughs> the breaker bar. <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm doing? He did the old breaker bar again. <laughs> it's his signature move, you guys. <laughs> Yeah, you're loosening the wrong way. I'm tightening the wrong way. <laughs> I'm just backing it up to get a run at it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm tightening. <laughs> Had to wiggle it like a loose tooth. That's one part. You can start all over again. But oh, hopefully the joy. last guy used anti-seize. Oh. <laughs> Everything's fine here. Michael's dumb again. <laughs> oh, it's just the end of that. Yeah. Let's see what happens here. Oh, 
Oh yeah. One more maybe? I'm not sure what's leaking more, this or this. <laughs> Now you know what to give me for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a big pry bar if you need it. You probably need it to get them back on. <laughs> I think you're right. <sighs> oh, God, it's really big and heavy. This is the guy. The guy's leaking it. <laughs> so you can get this in there, and then... Looks like it's going to go easy. That was one of my Let's go on this not side. so good hits, but hey, it's soft. Nailed it. So yeah, then you just flip it over and do the same thing. Oh, oh. That's it. Well, you know when that worked, huh? I just broke my first bead. Good job. Ever. When I wasn't four-wheel driving. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to have bars that are thinner and smoother. It's a lot of work. Well, it's kind of neat look, seeing it actually happen. A man, you know, doing it all manually. Right. Is. So now we gotta lift up the tire and catch it from the other side. Yeah. But the other side should be easier. Do you want to stand up straight? So I get this other one in there too to get it started. It might just pop all the way out if we can get it. Wow, right. it did just pop all the what way out. Thank you, Clay. Right? <laughs> Whew, oh. <laughs> Time for a break. <laughs> right? All right, meet back here tomorrow, guys. Good work, everybody. Take the rest of the day off. <laughs> Hell of a job, guys. Since I don't have any real tire lube going, we'll have to do it after scented dawn. That's what we were looking for today. Okay. God, don't hurt yourself. I always think I'm still younger than I am. I felt but... like I was going to have a hernia. Oh, oh God. Okay. Well, if I had the right angle, I could have got it. I didn't realize I had to go up that high. Ooh, oh, that's close. Yeah, let's just get the rubber mallet and finish it before I do hurt myself. So yeah, I just take this and... Oh, that makes sense with the rubber mallet part. But it's easier to get it started like that. If you don't, if you don't get it started first, then it doesn't want to stay as you're hammering. It won't start. Yeah. Right. And the rubber mallet keeps you from damaging it. Oh, oh good job. So, like you want to stand on it. You know, so that it goes down in this groove as you're pulling. And then I'm just sticking here and pushing down? Uh-huh. All right. So you got to get the tire down to the center so there's room to move over. Like, yeah, stand more in the middle here. There you go. Oh, it's, yeah, it's moving. It's just real slow. It's going to get harder as you go, obviously, but you want to take little little chunks at a time. It makes it easier. Oh, good. You got it. Okay, I'm going to have to find my other pry bar. Stand by. You really want the ones that are more rounded so that you don't take a chance of cutting the tire, but... Yeah, I can't find them. I think my dad hit them. Oh. One more time. All right. Is set the bead without the valve core in because you get more volume of air flowing. Right. So then you just get this dude set up to where you hold it like so. So then anyway. after the bead's set, you can put it in while the air's trying to blow back out in your face. Right. Yeah. Get this air up till it sucks. Stand by. 
Oh wow, look at that trick. Who knew it's just a valve stem? Something different because it ain't working. Maybe you can lift up on this side of the wheel. Sure. Too. You got it. Oh my gosh, you got it. Good job. I think I've said that like 10 Cal? times today. Core. Right there, my friend. I always wanted to do that. There it is. Dun, dun, dun. All done? I'd like to say I changed the tire, but Clay changed the tire, didn't he? <laughs> Don't forget. You're going to erase me from the video. I'm good. You can take all credit. Since this surface here mates up with the other wheel, you need to make sure that there's no dust or any little rocks or anything uh, on each anything. Or rust. No rust or dust? Rust or dust. Because if it does, then if that crumbles or breaks or anything like that, then these things won't be tight anymore. They won't be against each other tight. These things are like real heavy. Yeah. So next is these nuts right here. What? I'm using this nut to put those nuts on there. <laughs> okay, so the expert says you don't want it on this surface. You want it on this surface. So we're gonna paint some on each one of these lugs here. Oh yeah, they screw on this way. <laughs> Cause it's, you'll see on the tip of each one of these lugs, there's an L. And that'll tell you it's a left hand thread. The other side of right hand. Get a little bit tight there. That. So there's something called timing your tires and it's not like it sounds but what I'm doing is I'm rotating the tire here so that the this stem is 180 degrees out of this stem up here because if you don't and you mess this up then you won't be able to fill your put air in your tires when you're uh, parked so that's it it's got to be there go. This is how I used to sit as a kid. W like this. <laughs> w style. Every time I sit down like this, it just reminds me of, of that. Of being weird. a kid. Yeah. My mom always said if I sit like that, it's going to mess me up. But well, she was Do right. I seem weird? She was right. <laughs> <laughs> cool, man. We're almost done. Good. Mahomes. We just gotta tighten these one more time around, we're done. And we've changed our first tire on a bus by our, like not by ourselves, but we manually did it and that was really cool to do. What a, like, what a neat learning experience to be able to realize that on the side of the road in Monument Valley in the middle of nowhere at night, we can still change a tire by ourselves. Yeah, I think you need to point out that you're gonna have the air. Yeah, we have the air for doing this because we added that to the bus. 
Was that in this video or another video? Like, I don't even know anymore. I, I don't... We filmed so much and I haven't edited it all yet, so I don't even know. That inside tire had a leak. It had to go. And, uh, but wow, what a great experience learning how to do this and being able to do it ourselves is so cool. And we saved her. The tire cost us like, I think it was like three nine, it was like 426 with shipping everything like that, or tax. And, uh, 426? Yeah. They're expensive tires. I think that's what it was. Yeah, I got good reviews. I bought it on Amazon. You can buy semi tires on Amazon. That's crazy. You can buy sauce. anything on Amazon, obviously. Yeah, and FedEx delivered it. Yeah, did they? <laughs> yep, that guy was rolling the big old tire up across the yard. Rolling his eyes. Uh huh, I'm sure. <laughs> so we got two more tires to go, and we're going to do ourselves, obviously, before we leave on our big adventure. <sighs> Pretty cool. changing another tire today and we're gonna do things a little bit differently because I watched about 5,000 videos on changing tires the good the bad and the ugly too so this is actually kind of it can be extremely dangerous if you don't do this right so we're gonna just follow as, as uh, the safety procedures as good as we can so that we don't get hurt or anything and so that uh, you know, who watches this. This is not an instructional video. This is how Mike does it, okay? <laughs> but also, what you learned from the videos you've watched yeah. since the last tire you changed. Yeah. This is our fancy new torque wrench. Which he so happily ordered from Amazon. You bet I did. It was $169. I'll put a link in the description. So far, it has worked 100%. So, um, this makes this job 10,000% easier, I'm telling you. Okay, this is right hand thread this time, so I'll be doing it the normal direction to take them off. <laughs> so these might like look like really good tires to you guys. And the meat on these things, totally good. However, they're like 10 or 11 years old. And tires for vehicles like this aren't measured in tread depth and stuff like that. They're measured in uh, years unless and tread depth. But if the years are bad, this, then the tire is bad the tire's regardless bad. of the tread. And it becomes unsafe. And that's why we're, our, we're replacing them. bead get it off like so I can so much better with oil. Right? Is there enough oil left in that? Sure seems like it. We're using extra virgin olive oil today for our tire Are lubricating we? purposes. <laughs> Sorry, watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. I win. <laughs> All righty. Nice. Keep going. <laughs> Who 
Alpha. They say you shouldn't set a bead with a tire like this. That's standing up vertically? Yeah, because it causes the bead down there to do this a little bit. And you may not get a good enough bead. So they really say the fire should be flat. Usually if you could prop it up on something like that, which we'll do right now. Oh, we gotta start the bus. I didn't know we were at that park so fast. I love that. Makes you feel like you're at Circle K. Yeah, I wanna get a Slurpee. <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh, air takeoff that we added. And we guys listen to you. We put in this little valve here. Cause you guys said, hey, you need a valve. We also added some protection. We got a pill bottle and this little pouch here to put over that when we move. So we're gonna be using our own air system to uh, set the bead on this tire and fill up our tires. And anytime we need to change tires, we have everything we need to patch or replace a tire on the side of the road anywhere we are, self-sufficiently. So he's propping it up on that piece of wood now. Oh, I think we got it. That fast? Yeah. First try? Put in our brand new valve, Schrader. Yeah. Okay. So you might be tempted to just fill your tire up right here. Oh my God, don't do that. I'm gonna cut right now to some clips of why you shouldn't do that, okay? Okay, now that you guys have seen all these crazy clips, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do it. Since we don't have any of those fancy cages and stuff like that, we're gonna be on the side of the road or in a place where we don't have it. Chances are a brand new tire, it probably won't happen. But in order to safeguard yourself from any kind of crazy disaster, this is probably the safest way you could do it on the side of the road without jeopardizing yourself or the people around you. So when we got the bus, one of the first things we did is we got a new tire for it, and it's the one inside right there, okay? And we took it to a shop that shall remain unnamed, and they put it on, but one thing they didn't do is they didn't use a torque wrench. He just said, oh, the torque wrench goes to 800 pounds, don't worry about it. Well, you should be putting the tire on with 500 pounds of torque, 500 foot pounds of torque for each one of these, or else it's unsafe. And that's actually a DOT standard. So we're gonna go back and make sure that these are at the correct torque. I haven't tested them, I don't know what they are, but that's what he said to me when it went on. And so knowing that, they're probably too much. So I'm gonna just take these, loosen them a little bit, Tight, kind of tighten them with this, and I'll show you my next big tool. <laughs> That's no wrench. This ridiculous. is a wrench. I can't even fit it all in the camera screen at one time. <laughs> <laughs> this is a big torque wrench. This one's capable of going all the way up to 600 foot pounds, growing any 500. It's like a giant ratchet. Only. You'll hear a click when it's done. You should hear a click this time. Right there. Oh, there that it is. Like fast. Okay. The next thing we do when we tighten this on is we do it in a star pattern. Doesn't matter which one you start on. like this and a D2 that has a D2 governor that your home compressor 
doesn't have, okay? Since we're airing these things out to 105 pounds, the D2 governor on here starts to load the pressure at 90 pounds. So in the process of airing this up, if we got to 90 pounds and this thing wasn't loading, the pressure drops to 90. When it gets there, the D2 governor comes back on, pumps it up to 120 or so. And then that happens and it starts to deep, go down again. If it doesn't get back down to 90, it's not gonna start coming up again. If we reach no, like 95 on this at the same time, nothing will happen. It'll just balance and that'll be it and the engine will be happy. But the tire won't be full. So you have to bleed some air off of the bus to get it below 90 so it starts to go up again. In that up process is when it'll start filling this up again. So this one right here tells me the air pressure of the bus. Oh, sorry. This one shows me the pressure on the bus and whether it's loading or not. And this one shows me the pressure on the tire. So right now, it's stable at like 125 pounds right there, okay? So if I start airing this up, which I'm going to, So this is the next safety thing, okay? The tire from the video I showed you could blow up. So the best way we found is to get it on the bus so at least it holds everything. There could be damage to the bus if this thing exploded for sure, but at least this thing's not flying all over the place trying to kill somebody. So that's why we're hooking it to the bus. So First, before we come stand over here. So I'm gonna start airing this up. That's roughly the pressure in the tire. That's the pressure going in the tire. These are going down at the same rate right here. Okay, so watch what happens as I turn this off now. See how this is going up? Yeah. Because we went down past 90, now this is coming back up again. D2 governor is trying to fill back up our system. We're only at like 20 pounds here. So that's turning back on again. So now I'm putting air back in the tire again. We're just gonna let this go. Because I left the, uh, the Schrader valve in there, it happens a lot slower, but I'm okay with that. Also, you wanna listen for the tire and if you hear any popping or cracking or zipping noises, stop what you're doing, pull this off, and you can open this up and release the air back out again, because you might have a problem. Gotcha. Check the tire pressure right here. This should be climbing. And it is very, very slowly. So now we're just putting air back in. All right, we're at 40 pounds now. Do you guys he built this whole ridiculous contraption himself? Yes, because again, if we're at 95 here and 95 here, then nothing's happening, no more air's going in. So I can just open that and bleed off some air out of the bus to bring it down to 90. So then the D2 governor kicks back on and brings us back to 120, understand? So all that's left to do now is to take the bus off the jack. Yeah, you get a little dirty, but but you save a lot of money. Knowledge is cool. <laughs> and that, I mean, we struggled the first time. I think the biggest things we took away from this is one, use some kind of non-petroleum based oil. Lubricant. Lubricant around the, uh, around the bead when you're trying to put it on and take it off. Major, major difference. You guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, I just want to reiterate that we did it as safe as that we know how to do it. So do your research, do it as safe as you can figure out how to do it. Um, if you see something I did wrong and you think there's an easier way to do it without buying any more tools, then leave a comment down there. Let us know how we did. Um, also right over here, that little red button right there. Click that thing if you haven't already and subscribe to us if you like what you're seeing. And we'll see you guys next week for another video of Bussy McBusface. Give us a like if you like it. <laughs> Bye. See you guys. <laughs> I've got a ton.